Fifth question is, in a double solid experiment, a green light of wavelength 5303 angstrom falls on a double slit having a separation of 19.44 micrometer and a width of 4.05 micrometer. The number of the bright fringes between the first and the second diffraction minima is. If we draw the figure of the problem, we have two slits which has a separation D and this separation D is given 19.44 micrometer and the width of the slit is A and this A is given 4.05 micrometer. Because of this slit, there are the interference patterns and the diffraction pattern on the screen and the screen is at a distance D from the plane of the slits. First slit is S1 and another is S2. And the center of the screen is C. And at a distance of say X1, we get the first minima. And at a distance of X2 from the central maxima, we will have the second minima. So separation between the first minima and second minima is x2 minus x1. In this separation, we have to find the number of the bright fringes due to the interference. So x2 minus x1, which is the distance between the two minima, first and second minima, it have suppose n number of the bright fringes multiplied by the fringe width. So we can write it is n into Fringe width beta is, we know it is d lambda by small d. So we can replace beta by d lambda by small d. Now we have to find the x2 minus x1. Condition for the minima in the diffraction pattern is a sin theta equal to n lambda, where a is the slit width, theta is the angular position of the minima, n is the order of the minima, and lambda is the wavelength. So we can write approximately it is equal to a tan theta equal to n lambda because for very small theta we can write that sine theta is approximately equal to theta and it is approximately equal to tan theta. So it will be equal to a into and this tan theta is the perpendicular by base perpendicular is xn position of the nth order from the central maxima c divided by the distance capital D and it is equal to n lambda or we can write xn is equal to n into d lambda by a. So x1 will be equal to, if we substitute n equal to 1, we will have d lambda by d, and x2 will be equal to 2 into d lambda by t. So x2 minus x1 will be equal to 2 d lambda by d minus d lambda by d, so it will be equal to d lambda by d. This is actually a. And now we replace the value of x2 minus x1 here. So we will have it is d lambda by a small a. So this implies that now we have to find the number of the fringes between the first minima and second minima. So we have to find the n. So n will be equal to d lambda by a divided by d lambda by t. So it will be equal to d by a. Value of d is 19.44 micrometer divided by and the slit width is 4.05 micrometer and it will be approximately equal to 5. So option A is the correct option. Next question is, in a double slit experiment, two slits are 1 millimeter apart and the screen is placed 1 meter away. A monochromatic light of wavelength 500 nanometer is used. What will be width of each slit for obtaining 10 maxima of double slit within the central maxima of the single slit pattern? We know that single slit pattern is the diffraction pattern while the double slit pattern is the interference pattern. So 10 interference fringes are to be accommodated into the central maxima of the diffraction pattern. If we make a diagram of the diffraction pattern, then from the center, central point C, the diffraction pattern is having the central maxima then secondary maximas and between maximas there are the minima so this is the minima one this is the minima two 
similarly on other side also minima 1 minima 2 so width of the central maxima is the distance between the two minima on the either side so this will be if the distance of the minima from the central point is x1 so total distance will be 2x1 and we know that from the condition of the minima in diffraction pattern it is a sin theta equal to n lambda for first minima it will be a sin theta equal to lambda or sin theta is equal to lambda by a for very small angle it is approximately equal to 10 theta equal to lambda by a and 10 theta can be written as perpendicular by base where perpendicular is x1 by base is the distance between the screen and the slit plane so it is x1 by d equal to lambda by a so x1 will be equal to d lambda by a this is the position of the first minima from the central point so as per question 10 into fringe width of the interference pattern beta it is to be accommodated into the width of the central maxima which is equal to 2x1 and now substituting the value we will have d lambda by small d it is the fringe width in interference pattern will be equal to 2 into and x1 is d lambda by a d lambda is common so it get cancelled we have to find the width of each slit so that means we have to find the a so a will be equal to 10 2 into d by 10 and substituting the value of d it is 1 millimeter divided by 10 it is equal to 0 0.2 millimeter hence option c is the correct option next question is a parallel beam of fast moving electron is incident normally on a narrow slit a fluorescent screen is placed at a large distance from the slit if the speed of the electron is increased which of the following statement is correct and statements are the angular width of the central maximum will decrease will be unaffected will increase or the diffraction pattern is not observed on the screen in case of the electrons for electrons it is given that speed increases if speed increases then the wavelength of the wave associated with the moving electrons will be lambda equal to h by p that is equal to h by mv hence because v increases so this implies that lambda will decrease wavelength of the wave associated with the moving electron will decrease now we have to see the effect of the decreasing wavelength on the angular width in the single slit diffraction pattern angular width 2 theta is equal to lambda by 2 into lambda by a and because this angular width is proportional to lambda and lambda decreases this implies that angular width will also decrease hence option a is the correct option here we can derive this relation for the angular width 2 theta equal to 2 lambda by a by using the diagram for the single slit diffraction in the central point c and at point p we have the first minima and at point p we have the first minima on the other side and this minima has the angle theta with the reference direction so using the condition for the minima in the diffraction pattern it is a sin theta equal to n lambda for first minima n equal to 1 so it will give a sin theta equal to lambda or sin theta which is approximately equal to theta if theta is very small will be equal to lambda by a if we make the graph of the diffraction pattern it will be a, having a central maxima and then secondary maximas and between maxima there are the minimas so the angle between the two first minimas gives the angular width of the central maxima so angular width of central maxima will be equal to twice of the theta and it is 2 into because theta is lambda by a 
so we replace is theta lambda by a this is the angular width of the central maxima next question is the angular width of the central maximum in a single slit diffraction pattern is 60 degree so angular width of central maximum 2 theta is 60 degree this implies that theta equal to 30 degree the width of the slit is 1 micrometer that means a equal to 1 micrometer the slit is illuminated by monochromatic plane wave if another slit of same width is made near to it Young's fringes can be observed on a screen placed at a distance of 50 cm. That means capital D is 50 cm. If the observed fringe width is 1 cm, so beta is 1 cm, what is the slit separation? That means we have to find a small d, which is the distance between the center of the edge slits. For diffraction pattern, We know that condition for minima is a sin theta equal to n lambda for first minima n equal to 1 hence a into sin theta equal to lambda this implies that a into sin 30 degree equal to lambda or we can write a by 2 equal to lambda this is the equation number 1. Now for interference pattern in double slit We know that fringe width beta equal to d lambda by small d. This implies that it is given fringe width 1 centimeter that is equal to capital D is given 50 centimeter into wavelength suppose lambda and divided by d which we have to find. So this implies that because this is centimeter this is centimeter so we can write that d equal to 50 lambda this is the equation number 2 now we have to find the small d so divide equation 2 by 1 we will have d by a by 2 this is equal to 50 lambda by lambda this lambda and lambda get cancelled so this implies that small d equal to 50 into a by 2 and this 2 also get cancelled it is 25 that is equal to 25 a and a is given 1 micrometer so it will be 25 micrometer hence option a is the correct option